I need a bitch session. Yeah. Did you need one? I need a bitch session. So, here. For, for real. Bitch session. Here we go. What people think we do versus... What we actually do. Which is just pick up a lot of poop. <laughs> My dear friend Lana Bose and I got together one evening to talk about being dog breeders. And we turned it into our very own little bitch session. So be sure to subscribe and follow along as we share what people think we do versus what we actually do as dog breeders. The food here is amazing. I yeah, you. I know. Big time. It was awesome. I use a recipe. Like she actually like cooked like, like with food with that was yeah healthy. was all it was awesomely healthy. <laughs> it was awesome. So. We're gonna talk about what people think we do versus what we actually do. First of all, yeah, they think we. Play with puppies all day. Yeah, we sit around and play with puppies, and that we make a bunch of money, right? Because we charge money for our dogs, right? Because it's a lot of money to breed dogs. It is. I had a litter due this week. It was one puppy that got stuck, required an emergency C-section. Before that puppy was even taking its first breath, I spent eight hundred and fifty dollars, and that's not including the stud fee. Correct. Which was $750. Exactly. The transport to the stud fee. Correct. Which you were very lucky because it was in Florida. You got lucky with that. So you just had to drive, what, three hours? Yep. Each way? Each way. So six hours on the road. Not once. But twice. But twice because drop, I had to, had to drop her bitch. and then pick her up. So you got one male puppy. Male puppy. Because, of course, singletons are always males. Males. And you paid... What, at least 1500 Lost a couple of days of stuff you could be doing otherwise. And then somebody will be like, why do you charge so much for your puppies? I don't understand. And on top of that, what about all the health testing that we did on both sets of parents? Male was completely health tested. So was the female. I know because he's my stud, so... I showed him. I spent a fortune showing this dog because at first he didn't like it much. And I had to train him that it was fun. And so by the time he figured it was fun, I was already like a grand into it. I bought him from another breeder. So I bought him, showed him, spent all my money, did the health testing, and there we go. Yeah, I mean, I did the same thing. Mother was a bitch to be shown. Hor I mean, took us two years to get her finished. Plus, I purchased her from a bre another breeder. And you know what? He's probably going to be a pet. Probably. Because singletons are always pets. So now you got a pet male that nobody wants to pay shit for. That you paid, what, <laughs> four, five thousand dollars? Oh, easily four or five thousand dollars for. In Easy. the whole realm of Grand life. scheme of things, at least. I would put it cl closer to five. And so when you look at me and say, you want two thousand dollars for him? Can you come down lower in price? It costs us the same amount. It doesn't matter. Whether it's a pet or a show dog or we keep them, it costs us the same amount every day of the week. Yep. And then they think that we just sit around and play with dogs all the time. Like, we don't have any extra no, uh, no, lives. No, no, we do not. We don't do anything all day but just play with puppies. Uh, and possibly clean up some poop, maybe. Oh. If that. The poop. You'll hear a lot of oh, the, poop the poop. Because our lives are sitting around poop. We are professional poop picker-uppers. Yes. That's our real job that title. That is true. If I had like a name yep. tag, that's what it would say. If you could walk around a dog show and look at all of the vendors and see how many products are available <laughs> just for poop and poop picking up. You oh, and to make your poop better. Right. You want your poop to be more solid. Right. A little bit smaller, a little less smelly. They got all products everything. for that. Yeah, everything. I mean, there's... There's complete poop. <laughs> poop is our lives. Right. That is what we do. If you really want to ever know what we do, we clean up. I mean, we literally know what's going on with our dog's lives by investigating poop. Yeah, sometimes we have to look at right. it. Right, we, we have to have actually to, look like, at it. and We got to see what's going on in it. Like, what? what is that? And you have to, like, it's... It's not good. Yeah, no, I can pretty much tell if my, my dog has an upset stomach or if it <laughs> worms or if it's just irritable or if it's eating grass. <laughs> or if it just hates you that day. Right. It's all based on the poop. <laughs> Everything is based on the poop.
Uh Right, Allie? Allie, how was your poop today? Good poops. Good poops. In our next episode of Breeder Bitch Sessions, we discuss what it takes to actually plan a litter of puppies. No, we don't just stick two dogs together and see what comes out. I'll tell you all about it after we're done picking up all the poops. (laughs) 